Welcome to the Southern Quality Forward G-Men Nation. I'm your host, Jory Perrys, back under center in week five of Grambling State Football. We've got a great show this week. Over the next half hour, we'll take a quick look back at the State Fair Classic, learn all about the versatility of tight end Jordan Jones, go behind the stripes with Diarius Christmas, hear what the team thinks of the world-famed Tiger Marching Band, and preview Saturday's game against Oklahoma Panhandle State. This week, we'll even hear a special message from the team to the fans, and I'll explain a little bit later in the show. But let's first start out by taking a look back at the State Fair Classic. The 70th meeting of the Grambling State Tigers and Prairie View A&M Panthers at the State Fair Classic. First half action, Prairie View scoring first to Jalen Morton. Play action, finds Marcus Hardy outside the numbers, and he runs it in for the score. PAT is blocked. It's 6 nothing at this point. Later in the second quarter, Tigers putting points on the board. Dewanya Tucker smothered by a host of Tigers in the end zone for the safety. It was 15-2 at the half. Second half now, Tigers offense trying to get some rhythm. Jeremy Hickbottom in at quarterback with the keeper, reaches out and over the line for the touchdown. That made it 22-9, Panthers. Fourth quarter, Tigers trying to make a comeback. Hickbottom connecting with Quentin Geis. The touchdown shortened the deficit to 22-16, to and the Tigers recovering the onside kick, looking for one play to make something happen, but Hickbottom is going to be picked off here by Prairie View. That seals the deal as the Tigers fall in Dallas, 22-16 the final. Coach Bob saying despite the outcome, he saw his team fight back. Well, you know, these guys are champions and they didn't quit, you know, and, and you know, we didn't play well, it was ugly, we didn't protect well, we didn't run the ball well, but in the end, they gave themselves a chance to win a football game and, and you know, we just made too many mistakes, too many mistakes. and. And, you know, you miss three field goals, that's nine points. That's the difference in the ball game. I mean, but, you know, it's a team effort. And I thought our defense played well enough to win. Um, but we got to do a better job offensively of putting the ball in the end zone and, and scoring points because, you know, I thought we played well enough on defense to win the football game. The last play of the game, it really didn't post the end like that. You know what I'm saying? It could have, it's something I could have did better. I just feel like I could have did way better than what I did. So, yeah. Moving forward, we just gonna watch them, you know, learn from our mistakes, and uh, you know, just keep it pushing. We can't focus on it any much, you know. We still have a whole season to play, and uh, we just gonna continue to do what we do. So. Counting the loss, the Tigers have only fallen three times in conference games in the last five years. The State Fair Classic was closer than made out to be, though. It was a solid defensive performance, and the Tigers were only one play away from tying the game up. The play of the week this week goes to what put the Tigers within a touchdown in the fourth quarter. The play of the week going to wide receiver Quentin Geis for his touchdown catch to put the Tigers down seven with just over three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Geis finished with four catches for 41 yards and said it felt great to make a play when the team needed it most. As soon as I caught it, I kind of I ran into somebody and I tried to like just you know throw my body in the end zone as quick as I could and you know I, I was making sure he saw it, what I saw the ref he saw what I saw so you know I was just excited because you know that that put us one touchdown down so. And we still had time left on the clock. Once we scored the first one, um, it gave us momentum. Uh, then we scored the second one, and you know you can see you can see it kind of start to change a little bit. And you know uh, when you put the ball in the end zone, it, it helps. You know it's it's kind of like a big hit on defense. Uh, so offensively, when you score a touchdown, it pumps life into your defense. The players of the week going to the linebackers. Percy Cargo, Diarius Christmas, and Malcolm Williams all accounted for nine tackles apiece and Christmas with one sack. The three led the Tiger defense in their performance, which Coach Bob said was good enough to win the football game. We did a, we did a good job overall, but I feel like it was small details that we could have been consistent on to keep them at, to at least seven. And we scored 15, so we would have won in that way even though we missed three field goals and that could have made a difference, but you never know. We never, nobody gave up. You know, our defense has been, you know, our backbone, you know, uh, you know, uh, since we've been here. Um, and, um, you know, we've won championships, you know, because of our defense. And speaking of linebackers, coming up on the G-Men Nation, we go behind the stripes with Diarius Christmas. And trust me when I say you don't want to miss this one. Big Five's personality really shines. Plus. Jordan Jones has been back and forth between playing running back and tight end for years. His story coming up next. 